all right what's up youtube we're back at it with another video uh in today's video we're going to be talking about diet all right and what to eat while you're on the road and right, i think this is the one of the most important questions or important things that you can know while truck driving um because eating and sleeping i think the two most important things are eating and sleeping so eating basically it, it dictates like how much energy you're going to have on the road and it dictates you know your quality of sleep that you're going to get all right so there's three parts to this and we're going to get right into it is the three most important things when it comes to diet is one what you eat two when you eat the frequency that of how much you eat and three how much you eat the quantity how much of something that you eat all right so let's get into the first one is what you eat okay so the reason why there is a stigma and there might be a stigma of truck drivers that you might see um, in person or you know you might hear about truck drivers is you know they have these big bellies beer bellies they're fat they're overweight uh, because most of the time truck drivers don't pay attention to what they're eating all right they go into the gas station or a truck stop they get all the donuts, they get all the sugary foods, they get all the soda and they sit here, um, they drink whatever they want and they eat what they want and they just don't care and they're not being aware of what they're putting in their mouth, all right? And it's very irresponsible. The fact is this, all right? Even 30 minutes or even an hour of working out and exercising does not offset the effects of the unhealthiness of sitting. Now, I'm aware that it is unhealthy to sit for eight hours or even 11 hours on end, all right? However, you can at, at the least offset it a little bit. Now, can you offset it that 100%? Obviously not, but you can offset it 10%, you can offset it 20%, you can offset it 30% by what you are eating, right? Especially if you're young and you have a fast metabolism, all right? So the things that you need to stay away from, number one, sugar. All right, stop eating sugar, all right? When you go in the store and you pick up something to eat, you need to be looking at the nutritional facts. Most people do not look at the nutritional facts because most people are not aware of what they put in their mouth, all right? So you need to be looking. Right? If you buy that soda and that Mountain Dew, look how much sugar it has, all right? I want you to go after this video and look on the internet or pause this video, look on the internet and look up what is the average daily intake that of sugar you should have, all right? And then the next time you go into the store and look at a Mountain Dew, look at the back of it and look how much sugar it has in it, all right? It's almost, I believe, double of the amount of sugar. Not only do they have natural sugars and it's like 30 grams, but they have, they add to like 30 more grams of sugar in it, right? So it's basically like sugar water. Very unhealthy, very unhealthy. Number one, sugar bloats you. Number two, uh, sugar spikes your insulin levels, right? So you have a lot of energy, which it seems like a good benefit in the beginning but over time long term it has a bad benefit also the amount of sugar that you intake affects long term if you keep doing that will have long term bad health benefits diabetes high blood pressure you don't want that a lot of truckers out here have that all right another thing carbs all right stop eating bread stop it stop eating bread so sugar is one of them bread is another one why bread okay bread has high carbs all right so the thing about carbs is when it when you eat a carb right the energy that you don't burn or the carbs that you don't burn off right they turn into fat right they go through the bloodstream they hike up your insulin levels but the the carbs that you don't burn turn to fat you have to understand that we're survival machines right we're animals we've evolved to survive so the way that the body has evolved to survive might be basically um, the things that we're doing now is not useful today like eating bread all right when back then when we were in the wild and we ate something we might have not had another meal for a day or two finding something to hunt so the body had to find a way in order to uh, store fat all right so it was useful but now in today's society there is a walmart five minutes away from you right there's gas stations all over the place so there's no need to really store fat like that all right so there's no need to over consume carbohydrates there's no need to consume that much sugar right you don't need sugar it's, the body can work perfectly fine without sugar so cut sugar cut bread 
Another thing, cut milk, okay? The body is not designed. Now, babies, sure, drink milk. Right, but the body once it grows, it is not evolved to just consume milk like that. Lactose is terrible for you. Stop drinking milk. So with those three things, and I'm going quickly, you can incredibly increase your health and the benefits uh, that you receive from the diets that you eat. Things like meat. You can eat meat. Uh, you know, things vegetables, fish. You know, things of that nature. Nuts, seeds, things, things of that nature. Those those work. You know, chips cut them out sugar water cut them out you know drink water one thing that i do is i take my water bottle and i put what's called apple cider vinegar in it all right and i put about two teaspoons or two tablespoons of uh, apple cider vinegar in my water and what that does is number one it suppresses appetite right and we're going to get into the next one of how often you eat and why it's important number two it decreases bloating. Number three, it detoxifies your body and kills off bad bacteria in your intestines. The intestines is your second brain, right? So the reason why you get fatigued, the reason why you get sick, the reason why you might have brain fog, it all has to do with what's going on in your intestines, right? There's good bacteria and there's bad bacteria, and you can read up on these in books, right? A good book to read um, is Boundless by Ben Greenfield. You will learn a lot about health. All right, I'll probably link that down below in the description. Okay, now the next one, now that we're talking about apple cider vinegar, is how often you eat, right? Now, conventional wisdom is often wrong. Why is it wrong? Because, you know, conventional wisdom, what we learned in school is eat three times a day, three meals a day. You know, you gotta have your grains, you gotta have your meats, you gotta have your veggies, stuff like that. No. Back in the wild, 10,000 years ago, when your ancestors, you and our ancestors were in the wild, right and we're looking for something to hunt do you think they had three solid meals a day if they had three solid meals a day we wouldn't be here the reason why we're here is because our ancestors had to do things to survive right where we've evolved to be survival machines now we have the luxury of having three meals a day but back then our ancestors did not so our body is evolved to go without food right now am i telling you to starve yourself while you're on the road no, I'm not telling you to solve yourself on the road. What I'm telling you is that you'll have better cognitive function, right? You'll have better energy. You will feel better, right? You can think for longer periods of time. You have more brain energy, physical energy when you eat less, right? Now, another thing that you can do is fasting. I would say if you're not eating two times a day, you can eat one time a day, but just make sure you're getting all your vitamins, your minerals, and things of that nature inside what you're eating most of the time when you get hungry and your uh, stomach starts rumbling most of the time your body is just telling you that it needs salt it's not that you need a big ass fucking meal to excuse my friends to uh to suffice you probably just need some salt in your body right to um to get further the body's just telling you it needs it needs certain minerals right but you mistake that as i need a full meal but through eating a meal it gets that little thing which is salt that it wanted but you did not need to consume that whole meal because it's a bad return on investment blood goes from your brain which you what you need while you're focusing on the road to your intestines to digest the big meal that you just ate and it's a bad return on just for salt right when you could have just got some salt at the store you know sprinkled some on your palm licked it and you'd have been good to go and your appetite would have been suppressed for a little bit longer right so some people do a six hour fast some people do a 12 hour fast usually what i do is i'll eat something in the morning i'll fast for about four or five hours i don't eat directly first thing in the morning i'll fast about four or five hours and then i'll eat at the end of the day and that's it that's all that's all that i need right and another thing that i want to get into is how much you eat you do not need to stuff yourself every time you eat now uh reading through a, a book dude uh, i think he lived to be 112 years old he said one of the things that he think that contributed to his long life was number one exercise but number two not basically stuffing himself when he ate he ate to about 70 to 80 percent full and that was it right so if you control those things what you eat the, the frequency of how you eat and how much you eat you basically can have energy i can sit here and dry I know I can drive 11 hours straight. I can drive about 14, 15 hours straight and not get tired. 
because I have enough energy. It's about what I'm eating, what I'm drinking. And basically that also affects my quality of sleep. I can lay down and get a quality of sleep. I don't need eight hours of sleep anymore because of how, what I'm eating, right? How often I'm eating and how in in the fullness of what i'm eating now let's say you eat a big ass meal you stuff yourself and then you lay down to sleep your body instead of focusing on repairing itself from the day's work that you just put in and uh repairing uh, brain cells replacing cells different things of that nature it's focusing half of that time maybe 30 40 50 percent of that time on digesting the food and the other 50 percent which you could have been dedicating more so 80 90 90 percent of its energy on repairing the body it's now basically digesting the food so you only have a finite um energy left in order to repair your body so when you wake up you're waking up with brain fog you're not 100 percent energized you're not ready to get get up get up go and get after the day and attack the day right so those things affect uh, a lot of stuff and with that being said, no, you're not, with that, if you follow what I just said, you're not going to get a beer belly, well, if you don't drink beer, you're not going to get a beer belly, but you're not going to get, gain a bunch of weight, you're not going to get fat while you're on the road, you'll stay in shape, and you'll be able to keep your fast metabolism over time. Now, am I telling you, now, I would be lying if I told you that I feel I want to do this the rest of my life. No, this is not my plan to do this and truck the rest of my life. I'm doing it for a period of time. A short period of time in order to get to the next step right so i do what i have to do but also in the same time i have to be aware of the trade-offs the trade-offs is exercise the trade-offs is health for a period of time right so i need to find a way to hedge that hedging that means focusing on what i eat focusing on how frequently i eat and focusing on how much i eat one, two, three, simple, right? And that hack that I just gave you of, you know, you take a bottle of water and you pour some apple cider vinegar in it. If you do that and that's all you drink, I'm telling you, even if you're you're overweight or right now, you have a little, you know, pudge on your stomach, you will lose that over time. Give it, give it a week, give it two weeks. If you're, even if you have fat in your cheeks, you know, or, you know, where, wherever, when you eat a lot, you eat a lot of sugars, you eat a lot of junk food and the fat, wherever the fat goes, I guarantee you, you stop drinking soda. You stop um, drinking all these flavored drinks or whatever, you know, and you go to strictly water and apple cider vinegar. I'm telling you, you're going to drop weight quickly, you know, and you're going to see the differences within a week or two. Just follow what I'm saying. You don't have to know everything. You don't have to understand everything. But I made it so simple. A two-year-old or a three-year-old can do this, right? So it's simple. Just follow what I'm saying. No bread, no sugar, no milk. Take those out, right? No processed food also. Take those out. Once you take those out and you start implementing those, you will start seeing differences, all right? And you'll start, you know, everything will start coming together with your health. And even if you're not a trucker and you're thinking about trucking and you work another job, you can still implement these. You could still implement whatever I'm telling you to do in a job that you have right now and see the differences. All right. So like I said, I think that was all for the three pointers that I had in this video. Um, if you like what I had to say, please like, comment and subscribe. Um, and if you have something else you would like me to talk about, comment down below and I'll be sure to answer that for you. All right, so I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.